Hey there folks, it's Javier here. I'm coming to you live um, right now uh, from Tampa, Florida. Um, this needs to be addressed. Alright, so there is this uh, center-left um, news, newscaster, if you will, uh, named David Pacman. Um, I've always personally liked David Pacman. I've been following his show for years. I've been subscribed to uh, his bonus show channel. And personally, I think he's very intelligent, very smart, and um, he really knows how to really take apart all this right wing bait and just kind of tear their lies apart. You know, he really knows how to expose all the lies of the right, and he does it really, really well, and I commend him for that. Now, Mr. David Pacman, if so happen you're watching this video, I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, you have Christian viewers. You have Christian viewers. I'm one of them. Um, man, I pray for you, man. I support what you do. I want you to keep doing what you do. And um, I'm very, I admire you for what you do, and I'm proud of you for what you do. Now, Mr. David Pacman, <clears throat> your tweet um, went too far. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, so David Pacman, um, Recently, first, like I said, he's a very intelligent individual. Giving him the benefit of the doubt, he's a very intelligent guy. He really knows how to expose the right-wing lies and everything. Um, he does it really, really, really well. Um, but, you know, I understand, Mr. David Pacman, that you are not a Christian. I would very much like you to be, but I know you're not. And, you know, I, I respect that. Um, <clears throat> but... At the same time, you know, you need to understand that you do have Christian viewers. Um, um, as a Christian myself, I'm not a right-winger. I walked away from the conservative Christian right-wing cult long ago. I want nothing to do with it, personally. Um, I hold some right-wing views. I hold some right-wing tendencies, but my views are, for the most part, much more center left and um, but you uh, posted something that rightfully offended a lot of conservatives um, rightfully offended a lot of conservatives not just offended them but are now getting to the point where they want to literally shut your channel down and I don't support shutting your channel down I want you to keep doing what you do I pray for you man but at the same time you gotta feel some a little bit of embarrassment for this tweet you posted. And I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. I understand that you, you're you bringing about the idea that just thoughts and prayers are not enough, that we do need to take action. And I agree with you on that. We do need to take action. I have my personal opinion. Um, I, do, I am in favor of some kind of gun legislation, but at the same time, I am also in favor of increased security in schools. What happened after 9-11? After 9-11, you know, there was the only way we prevented another terrorist attack from happening was increasing security at airports. We need increased security in schools. That's my personal idea. You posted something, and I'm going to show you what you posted. I'm going to show the audience, anybody who's watching here, what you posted real quick. Okay, David Pacman said in a since deleted tweet Very surprisingly, there would be a mass shooting at a Christian school. Given the lack of prayer is often blamed for these horrible events, is it possible they weren't praying enough or correctly despised being a Christian school? I'll say straight up that when I first saw this tweet, I was personally offended. As your viewer, as your viewer, I was personally offended. Um, because I do believe in the power of prayer. And the power of prayer is not only something I believe, it's something that is just true. You don't, well, I know I get that you don't believe that, and you know, that's just, you know, at this point, we will just have to disagree on that. Um, but, I, like I said, I see where you're coming from. Um, you gotta not stigmatize your viewers, you know, you gotta not stigmatize your viewers. You gotta recognize that people of all sorts are watching you, and not every Christian is a right-wing, right-wing evangelical conservative. Not every person who calls himself a Christian is a right-wing evangelical conservative. Um, I'm not. I used to be one. I walked away from that. I don't want to be part of that anymore. Because I see the hypocrisy. I see the lies. I see the dishonesty that they do. 
I see the endless propaganda and lies and dishonesty from the American right wing that I just want nothing to do with or associate with. And at the same time, what's more important is that God sees it too, whether they want to believe it or not. I don't understand the likes of, you know, people like, you know, Benny Johnson or Trump Jr. Or, and many others, you know, it's, it's just craziness. But understand that um, you, you should, I'm glad you pulled your tweet. You should feel some sense of shame for your tweet. And, um, and, and your words were poorly, poorly chosen. Now, in defense of you, I don't want them to shut down your channel. I am, I have came out in support of you. I'm doing what I can. Um, I want to, I want you to keep going and keep doing what you're doing because you do a great, a damn great job of what you're doing. Um, and um, I'm here to say that I support you. And um, Mr. Pac-Man, God bless you. I'm praying for you. And that is... Uh, pretty much the core of this video. I'm also going to address uh, your points, um, and I agree with you, and I'm just going to let you speak for yourself here. Hang on. ...has reached a fever pitch to the war. The situation has reached a fever pitch. Don Jr. tweeting yesterday, imagine being this big of a POS to his nearly 10 million followers. Unfortunately, this is what many on the left think of you if you have traditional American views and don't follow blindly and capitulate to their every lunatic whim, truly evil at this point. Of course, if by traditional American views, Don Jr. means doing nothing about mass shootings, which is exactly right what there. he and his right. father's administration did and want to do, then yeah, that's not for me. And of course, then the hate mob descended. And it wasn't just Don Jr. Candace Owens devoted a segment on her show to this where she was almost in tears over my tweet, posting to Twitter, quote, more left-wing filth. David Pakman is laughing at the fact that the dead children are Christians who believe in prayer. These are real tweets. These people think it's funny when Christian children die. No, I think it's tragic when thoughts and prayers are the only thing offered by Republican officials. And she is even going after our advertisers. And this is where this is getting genuinely bad. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Candace Owens adding to any of your advertisers who may be following this, this is not a contrived mob or anti-Semitism. This is you dealing with the consequences of sending the most horrifically bigoted tweet directed at dead Christian children who, according to you, should have prayed harder. Of course, that's not the point. The point is, thoughts and prayers don't work. Who wants to actually do something about the scourge of gun, gun violence? And yes, it's a scourge. That's how Trump says it, and now I say it the same way. Uh, Donald Trump's former lawyer, Jenna Ellis, getting in on it. This is a horrific take that the author didn't walk back, just said he's now getting harassed, so deleted it. David Pakman, you harassed Christians and should apologize for this offensive tweet targeting our sincere faith. No. I'm targeting anyone who says thoughts and prayers and nothing else. Jenna Ellis says, hey, evil persists and we don't represent prayer as a complete shield to the perils of the fallen world. But rather than through faith in Christ, we can accept salvation and live it. I mean, it just, it just you know, religious babble now. Thessalonians tells us, give me a break. The right wing blaze writing an article about this. They weren't praying enough. Progressive radio host goes viral over vile reaction to Christian school massacre. Thoughts and prayers don't stop mass shootings. That's the point. Infowars. Is it possible they weren't praying enough? David Pakman mocks Christians murdered by trans shooter in Nashville. And the wrongest man in the world on the pandemic, Alex Berenson, also tweeting, just apologize, David Pakman. You are shameful, not just for what you said. Did you think it was funny? Blaming kids for their own deaths is beyond awful because in your non-apology, you then blamed anti-Semitism for the response. Blame yourself, not your religion. Not blaming my religion. But you should see thousands, thousands of anti-Semitic messages. Jew, the K-word, ovens, uh, uh, people suggesting they're going to come and do this, that, the other thing to this and that, the other person. I'm not even going to, I don't, I don't even want to put it out there because it's a deluge where 
uh, security has been contracted and so on and so forth. It, 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 you have no idea what's going on. It's wild. It is wild. So they are sending the hate mob against us. And we now have to see whether we can weather this storm. Most of you reached out with uh, support. It's been great hearing from, so, you know, the, the one upside when these things happen is the messages from people who have been in the audience for a long time. And I got so many messages from people saying, David, none of these people are in your audience. We all know what you meant. Sh thoughts and prayers do nothing. We've got all right, you get the point. There is right now, he's right. He's right. They, you know, the left likes to talk, the right wing likes to talk about the mob, the hate mob. And he's right. Right now, there is literally a hate mob coming after him, Mr. Pac-Man, and trying to shut him down. Um, I'm here to stand up for him. But in all reality, you know, he was wrong to tweet what he did. But he is right about the point. Thoughts and prayers alone are not enough. We need to do something. So that was the point he was trying to get at. And I get that, Mr. Pacman, if you're watching this. You were trying to get at the fact that thoughts and prayers are not enough, and we need to do something. I get the gist of your message, and I agree with it. But the way you worded it and what you said was just too much. You know, you, you literally um, attacked prayer, whether intentionally or unintentionally, and I, I pray it's unintentional. You did literally attack prayer and... Um, and that shouldn't be that shouldn't be happening. I don't I don't agree with that. Um, like I said, I support you. I'm I love your art. Your arguments are, are brilliant. Keep doing what you do, and um, I wish you luck in getting out of this situation. But you know, a lot of the people that were angered by what you said were rightfully angered. Um, and just in general, I've defended you know the trans community when it came to you know the increased stigma that's about to grow against them just because this suitor identified as trans. I'm also going to defend the Christian community and saying, you know, you cannot be blaming, you know, this blame game has to stop. Nothing is going to get done with this blame game. And that's just the general point of this video. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Mr. Pac-Man, I hope you uh, think twice, you know, just give it, give another thought, you know, just, uh, Take this fair criticism and, you know, God willing, you'll move forward. Um, you have a good day. Hope everyone has a good day and take care. This is Javier. Tuning out.